Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to find the flux linkage between points external to an isolated conductor. Uh, in the last lecture, we have found the uh, flux linkage uh, inside the conductor and from that we have calculated the inductors. Now we will find the flux linkage outside the conductor and from that we will calculate the inductance. Now in this case, uh, like the last case, we are again considering the isolated conductor. Uh, means the return conductor is actually very far away from the conductor that is under consideration so that we don't have any magnetic field interaction between the two conductors. Now uh, like the last case we are considering a tubular element that is at a distance x from the conductor and uh, we are also considering two points p1 and p2 that are distance uh, that are at a distance d1 and d2 outside the conductor respectively. So again, like the last derivation, the starting point will be Ampere circuit law and it defines by this equation hx dot dl is equal to i. And uh, in this case, the conductor current is i, magnetic field intensity is hx and 2 pi x is the closed integral dl. So this is equal to 2 pi x. So the magnetic field intensity at point x will be i over 2 pi x. hx is equal to i over 2 pi x. As the whole current is linked with the magnetic field intensity, that's why we, we are not using ix at this point. This is the total current that is passing through the conductor. Now the magnetic field intensity and the magnetic field density they are related by the term mu the constant mu so hx bx is equal to mu h and bx is equal to mu i over 2 pi x weber per meter square and if we have to find a flux value through some small portion so the flux value phi is equal to b a so in this case d phi is equal to b x into d a b x into d x and d s so this is your thickness element this is your length element as the all the calculations are in the uh, are being done in per unit length so this ds will be equal to 1 meter so we can write d phi is equal to bx dx so we can put this value here in this equation so the d phi value will be mu i over 2 pi x dx right now uh, to find the flux linkage value we know that lambda is equal to n phi and in this case d lambda will be equal to n d phi right but the numerical value of this n will be equal to 1. Why? Because in the last case when we are finding the inductance or the flux linkage inside the conductor there is a small portion of current Ix that was under consideration and the phi d phi was due to this Ix. So there is a fraction of current that was producing this fraction of flux. But in this case, the whole current is responsible for the flux d phi. So that's why there is there is no consideration for the fraction, and this n will be equal to one. So d lambda is equal to d phi, and from that d lambda is equal to mu i over two pi x dx Weber per meter. Now to find the total flux linkage from point one to two that was uh, the actually goal actual goal so lambda 1 2 from point 1 to 2 we have to integrate it from d1 to d2 and the variable of integration will be x so when we will integrate it the formula will be mu i over 2 pi x ln d2 over d1 right so uh, the flux linkage when, uh, from 1 to 2 when the permeability relative permeability value mu r is considered to be 1 and the value of mu naught is considered to be 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 then the formula will be 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 
the total current of the conductor ln d2 over d1 weber transformator and then to find the inductance from point 1 to 2 between these two points the inductance will be equal to lambda over i so we have divided this term with i and the i's will cancel out so this is the inductance value due to flux linkage between two points external to an isolated conductor thank you